Hey, it's Dave and Andy from Two Dudes Reviews. Hey, what's and, up? Uh, we're here at the 2017 Sculpture Fest. reason we saw this sculpture, the first one that we're taking a look at. And of we course, were inexplicably attracted to it. Well, Andy got all handsy for a second. I'm going, man, I don't think you're supposed to touch it, but, uh, you, you know, I'm, take a look at this piece of magic. Um, there's a lot of suggestiveness at the uh, top there. This is called Release. R-E-L-E-A-S-E. -E, release. Lou Brock, um, one of the sculptors on this. In fact, I think he worked with about eight or nine people on this particular piece, this project. But uh, uh, it's interesting. It's wild. It's uh, Andy. I mean, you're you're the art guy between the two of us here. What would you say, man? Well, it's a it's a piece that's very expressive. Obviously, you know, a woman arched back. Uh, I kind of like the hair, full full on dreadlocks. We take a look at the hair side. over here. And this is interesting. They've, uh, it's, it's definitely a mixed media project. You're right. Oh, you've got fabric, you've got paper mache, looks like. And these um, dreads are actually, they're they're kind of like the mesh that you might make a, uh, like a cast out of, right? Um, like you'd probably it, like a plaster or something? I don't know that it's, it's yeah, uh, uh, what am I looking for? Fiberglass. It doesn't look like fiberglass, but it's really kind of cool. And, and, you know, obviously the Sculpture Fest is a real big thing, and I think a lot of, of what they're doing is is related or revolving around Burning Man, and yeah, this is a very I can see this piece out on the playa yeah. um, at Burning Man, and uh, it's a great kind of uh, an, an intro yeah. to Sculpture Fest for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Now this is an event. It's it's in a, it's in its third year uh, happening here in Reno, and uh, and this third year they're expecting about thirty thousand people from all over the West Coast to descend upon the city to take a look at uh, several. There's forty different sculptures. Here. And so throughout this video, we're going to be taking you kind of on a tour of the different sculptures and telling you a little bit, at least from our layman's perspective, of what we know about these different sculptures on Two Dudes Reviews. This started out as a project to use uh, a hot air balloon burner to heat flowers. Okay. Uh, the, the metal flower. Yeah. Uh, it started out as a platform just for that to go that we pack. decided to add the accumulated looper and uh, some more sheet metal and it just kind of grew from a box to, uh, to this. Wow. In, in four days. All right. Well, so. now obviously you're a uh, you're a legacy. Uh, how many burns have you been up to? This will be 26. 26. All right. Have you captured any of the actual flamer up here? I got have. Good, got to watch this thing. What, is it the time? Is there something no, pushing the button? No, all the little kids can go push the button. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a kid. I'm going to go push the button. All right. All right. Here we go. Any button? Uh, the left one. The left one. Oh, look at that. All right. Boom. Okay. There you go. And the name of this sculpture is? Uh, well, this is the Brutanical Garden. Brutanical burn tanical. Oh, burn tanical. Burn tanical. Burn tanical. Burn It's all fire based. Fire based. It's uh, you know, it's a Burning Man thing, and it's two dudes reviews. So Andy, I believe that this sculpture, I think it's called Moxie. Moxie. I mean, it says Moxie right here, right yeah. here uh, about the chaos surrounding 9/11 uh, and the Twin Towers. Uh, so you know, here's where this is. Actually, it says. Um, during the chaos of 9-11, Moxie is actually one of the, the rescue dogs. dogs, one of the yeah. rescue dogs that was involved in rescuing people during 9-1-1. So take a look at the top here, and then we're going to kind of tell you what's going on. The cutout shows the Twin Towers. The horseshoe shape, inverted, represents luck running out. Interesting, wow. huh? Yeah. <clears throat> now, moving down the sculpture here, the uh, stairway of life and death. You can notice the firemen going up the staircase, the civilians trying to escape down. Um, in, the, in the second piece out. The significance of the three circles being able, angled represents uh, the towers 
and uh, the collapsing onto their own footprint, right? The two towers and then the collapse right. as the third. And then the empty space, the void at the bottom is uh, the hearts of the families, friends, and of course all the Americans who had to witness this horrific act. Um, and then the base, right? Right. Reminiscent of... The, the remnants, right, yeah. of what's left. Um, really kind of a moving piece. Um, and, and when you consider, I think a lot of people don't understand when you see a piece like this, the sheer volume and what it takes to put a piece like this together. I work in the steel industry in my life in the welding world, and I look at a piece, this is one inch steel. It weighs a whole oh, lot. God. And to actually maneuver, manufacture, to weld this all together, to make it solid and stand together in, in a in a form like this, takes a lot of skill, takes a lot of experience, takes a lot of practice. So I've got a, a enormous respect for the artist and his ability uh, alone just to create a piece like this. know what's going to move me and, and I never know what's going to speak to me. This piece to me speaks to me because it, it, it looks like harmony and it's called pushback. However, they're pushing. And pushing to me is not giving, it's pushing. pushing. It's pushing. Right. And, 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 and I have to wonder what the artist is thinking when you have all these different sides pushing against each other but it creates Harmony and, and harmony and love, right? Yeah. So uh, the artist isn't here, and so we don't have the ability to talk to him. But um, I like the tension in this piece, and that's I think what really speaks to me is that tension. Here is harmony, but the action involved to create the harmony is aggressive. Yeah. Right. Thus um, pushback, so. and these are all made out of, by the way, this styrofoam. Styrofoam, right? Here. right? It's painted, and it's almost like a plastic painted styrofoam. Yeah. With chromoly. And the the heart, which is probably uh, what is that? Plastic too? Uh, it's some sort of uh, yeah, plastic thing. Not uh, the most grandiose of pieces out here at Skull Fest. Interesting. Out. I like the idea behind it. Spoke to me. Yeah.